Hey everybody, welcome back to the final part of this series on Pinch Pot Organic Forms. If you're just tuning in for the first time, you probably want to check the links in the description to see how we made everything here. Overall, I'm very satisfied on how things turned out. Let's take a look at the results. Look at the results of this glaze. Super happy with this. Look at how the uh, glaze broke over the edge. We have the dark in the cracks. The spirals turned out nice. We have the oatmeal and the ancient jasper running together. Super pleased with this. So a little bit worried it might run. You can see the bottom, it didn't run at all. Some really interesting crystals. Let's see if we can get that to focus in the glaze here. Some crystals growing in there. Pretty happy with that. Look at the Terra Sigillata. This was fired to 06. And if you remember, we rubbed on the red iron oxide and then wiped it back. You can see how it beautifully highlighted these textured areas. Just made a really nice patina. Absolutely in love with this surface. It's the same Terra Sigillata, Fire to 06 in the electric kiln. And this one, instead of having the red iron oxide, has black iron oxide <clears throat> rubbed in the cracks and then wiped back. Another beautiful surface. This is the red iron oxide all by itself, fired to cone six in the electric kiln. All by itself, no other, nothing else. We can see the color is quite a bit different change. And this is the underglaze technique where we use the underglaze, we paint on the black and we wiped it away. Just a different color. This tile is the same underglaze technique using the velvet underglazes, wiped back, and then fired to cone six instead of the low fire. This is fired to cone six. Now this last piece really didn't change too much in the kiln, did it? Pretty much came out that same way. All we're gonna do with this one, we're gonna simply use an acrylic medium or acrylic varnish or top coat and water it down just slightly paint it on, being careful not to get it too thick and spreading it out so it doesn't get too thick in those cracks. You can see it goes on cloudy, but it dries nice and crystal clear. It's a really simple process, just paint it on, let it dry, and you're done. Hopefully you really enjoyed this series. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Hope you have a great day.